Hello everyone and welcome again to our channel. In our continued attempt to educate and inform everyday citizens about the heinous and convoluted characteristics of gang stalking and targeting individuals, in this video again attempt to explain some of the more hideous and mind-numbing aspects of this horrific social engineering experiment. This includes introducing strangers or new people into the targeted individual's life to further their agenda and destabilize the target's emotional well-being. Many of these connections may be sought out innocently by the target themselves in the form of relating with co-workers, romantic interests, seeking service providers, or participating or volunteering in an organization, etc. With that being said, not all such introductions are marred with individuals who support the act of gang stalking. Our apologies to those who may be offended. In truth, that's what makes these interactions so difficult to navigate for targeted individuals. It's important to have patience with those who identify themselves as being gang-stalked. The tactics used by these blood-sucking entities of emotional instability mimic that of psychological warfare that is, unfortunately, being played out in real time in the lives of innocent people for no credible reasons other than they can. In this context, perpetrators may employ the following psychological strategies to undermine the emotional well-being of targeted individuals. Betrayal. Perpetrators may manipulate the targeted individual's trust by introducing individuals who initially appear friendly and supportive but later betray them. These individuals may gain the target's confidence, only to use the information they gather to exploit or harm the target emotionally. Deception. Perpetrators may use deception to create false narratives or mislead the targeted individual about the intentions, background, or relationships of the new people introduced into their life. This can be done to sow seeds of doubt, create confusion, or create a sense of vulnerability and desolation. Let's be perfectly clear that these character traits are often used on entities that are not targeted or gang-stalked as well. It's just that when this is done purposefully in the life of a targeted individual the effects of such from an emotional standpoint are amplified and volumized, the equivalent of one dagger after another thrown their way. Manipulation of relationships. The introduction of new people can be part of a larger effort to manipulate the target's social connections and relationships. Perpetrators may orchestrate situations or conversations that lead to conflict, misunderstanding, or strained relationships with friends, family, or acquaintances. This can isolate the target and contribute to their emotional distress. The exploitation of vulnerabilities. Perpetrators may target the individual's vulnerabilities, such as loneliness, desire for companionship, or emotional needs, by strategically introducing individuals who seem to fulfill those needs. Once trust is established, these individuals may exploit the target's vulnerabilities to further manipulate or harm them emotionally. The ultimate goal of such tactics is to undermine the target's emotional well-being, create a sense of instability, and erode their support network. These actions may contribute to feelings of isolation, confusion, and distrust in the target's life. The interesting part about this particular aspect of gang stalking is that those who are not materially invested in gang stalking are intimidated or covertly coerced to either participate or to stay quiet under the guise that if they do not, they too will have this experience. This is a very real reason why seemingly decent citizens do participate in the deceptive nature of gang stalking and targeting individuals. It's about the perceived and baseless fear of reprisal. Unfortunately, the fear and thought of this occurring to you or someone that you know is all that the gang stalkers need to get your attention and gain compliance. Remember at the end of the day the numbers actually are on our, those of us who believe in sincerity, honesty, and justice for all, side. The perceived control they have is ultimately only in your mind and they know that. When it's all said and done that's a space that you, as a sovereign and free citizen of the United States of America, have total dominion over. You are not only standing up for what is right, you are standing tall against what is clearly wrong and most definitely not in your own best interest. Say no to gang stalking and targeting of individuals. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe.